We asked James Shaw to visit with you today. Uh, Mr. Shaw, since the shooting, has been to church at Jefferson Street, and he uh, agreed to speak with you. What uh, James is going to do is just tell you from his perspective, from his eyes, what he saw and what he did. And then after James uh, speaks, there'll be other speakers, and at the end, we'll save the uh, end for questions. James, come on up. How's it going, everybody? <laughs> um, so last night, uh, I went out with uh, my best friend. Um, we went to a we went to a club out in uh, Antioch, the Antioch area. Um, we left the club at about two thirty ish. Um, we actually went to the Bell Road um, Waffle House first, um, but it was pretty packed in there, um, like two or three times what was in the Murfreesboro, uh, Murfreesboro Road Waffle House. Um, so we left there, um, got some gas, and then we went to the Murfreesboro Road Waffle House. Um, got there, I think, at about 3.17ish. Um, when we got out our vehicles, um, we both saw the gold. Silverado. I actually saw the silhouette of his face, um, but you can't really just, you know, judge a person just off what, off of, off of that. So um, <clears throat> we proceeded in. Um, we sat down at the the high chairs, um, tabletops. Um, I was sitting in like the first chair, and my friend was sitting in like the third chair. We had a seat. Uh, um, a chair in between us, and uh, I, we just distinctively remember um, the cook. The uh, the cook was actually um, washing dishes, and he was stacking the plates up, and he was stacking them pretty high up on the hood to where we were like, those are going to fall off. Well, at the same time he was doing that, another um, Waffle House employee was actually about to go on his break, and I heard him say, he said, I'm just going to go smoke a cigarette, I'll be right back. Um, so when we first heard what I know now is the gunshot, we thought it was plates crashing because we had pretty much made that up in our minds that it was the plates were going to fall. Then the second one happened, then the third one happened. I think that's when the glass busted and broke through, and then I saw the Waffle House employees scatter. Um, and then I looked back and I saw. Um, a person laying on the ground right at the entrance of the door. Um, so then I jumped pretty much and slid from the uh, the tabletop to the entrance of the door. And I think he let off um, some shots um, through the glass, and then he proceeded to come in. And then when he proceeded to come in, I actually went behind this like a push door, a uh, swivel door, and uh, he shot through that door, I'm pretty sure, and I'm pretty sure he grazed my arm, and it was at that time that I kind of made up my mind, because there's no way to lock that door, um, that if it was going to come down to it, he was going to have to work to work to kill me. So at the time that he was either reloading or the gun jammed or whatever happened is when I ran through the, the swivel door, I hit him with the swivel door, and then the, ga the gun was kind of jammed up and it was pushed down, so we were scuffling. And uh, I managed to get him with one hand on the gun, and then I grabbed it from him, and I threw it over the countertop. And then I, and after that, I was trying to get out the door, and I think he was pretty much in the entrance way, so I just took him out with me, out of the entrance, and all the way outside. And then I proceeded to run around, and uh, he had like a walk trot pace type of uh, jog that he was doing, trying to get away. And uh, that's kind of what happened. Um, 